This is IED Activity 5.5a, CAD Model Features Part 1, Problem Number 8. This is the last problem in the series of problems for 5.5a. We are going to be learning about the sweep tool as we make a paper clip. So let's go ahead and get started. Whoops. Uh, in Inventor, we need to start a new 2D sketch on our XY plane. I'm going to zoom out a little, couple clicks here to get that to a size that is workable. Whoops, sorry. I'm going to move it down here a little ways. I'm going to start with my line tool. I'm going to click uh, my origin. I'm going to go up three inches. I can barely see that. I'm going to come back to over to the right one inch. I'm going to then come down <clears throat> five inches. This is a large paper clip. Don't worry about it. Uh, it'll get the job done. Uh, 0.75 back to the to the uh, left. I'm going to go up four inches I'm using the perpendicular constraint that automatically comes in. I'm going to go 0.5 over to the right. And then my last one, I'm going to come down three and press escape. So I've got the outline of a paper clip. And you may not be able to see all my dimensions. So let me go ahead and just move a few of these around so that you can see them. Um, might make it a little easier for you to understand what we have here. All right. That up a little bit because we're going to need <clears throat> and this one down a little bit. You don't have to move these, but I want you to be able to see those dimensions. The next thing we're going to do is use our arc tool to create the curved tops and the bottom down here on our paper clip. So I'm going to click on the two outside corners of this one inch diameter uh, or one inch long line at the top. And I'm going to put an arc in that's equal to that, uh, the, di the radius of that line. So the line's one inch, so 0.5 is the, the radius for that arc. For the inner arc of the paper clip, it's a 0.5 inch diameter, so I need 0.25 for my radius there. And on the bottom we've got a line that is 0.75 inches. And if you don't know that half of 0.75 is 0.375, you can also use Inventor's built-in capabilities and type 0.75 divided by 2 and it will automatically put that 0.375 inch diameter in place for you. So I'm going to escape three times out of my commands for drawing an arc. and I'm going to click on the line that is now the diameter of that arc and delete those <clears throat> as I go down through. And with that, I now have my paper clip looking object. So I'm going to finish that sketch. I will click on my home view to shrink it down. And I need to add a plane. So I'm going to click on the plane feature, just the basic plane. I'm going to click on the end point of this paper clip <clears throat> and I have to click a second time to get that plane to go in place. So I have to click on it twice. That puts the plane in place. Now I'm going to create a new sketch by right clicking on that work surface. Make sure it's selected so you see the four corners have circles on them. Right click on it and click on the new sketch feature. I'm going to zoom in here so I can see that center point. I'm going to put a circle here that we're going to use to sweep. I'm going to make mine 0.1. There are no actual diameters that are correct. Um, that's all I need. I'm going to finish that sketch. Because I, kind of like an extrude, a sweep is like an extrude that follows a line. So I'm going to use my sweep tool. It's going to automatically, for me, select that circle. But if it didn't for you, go ahead and click on that circle. And then it's asking for the path. So for profile, it's the circle. Path is going to be the path it's going to follow. It's going to follow the paperclip line. So if I click on any one of these lines, you'll see they're all highlighted white. It selects those. And when I'm done, once I've clicked on that line, you can see what it's going to look like when it puts that sweep in. I'll click OK to that and click my home view. And my paperclip is done. So I have the option of I can leave that work plane in view or I can right click on work plane over here in the browser and turn the visibility off. Either way is okay for me. Go ahead and save that as paperclip with your initials and you can submit that 
part.